Old Alabama Gardener, and in this video, I'm talking about a garlic honey infusion for better health. Now, folks, if you've been watching my videos, you'll know that I'm a strong believer in that gardening and good health are closely linked. In other words, they go together. And in this video, I'm going to show you a mixture that I make, and I take it, swallow it, and I believe it helps to keep me healthier. Now, some of you may know I'm 80 years old, and you see me out there working in my garden, growing lots of vegetables, canning what I grow, and cooking some pretty good meals, usually those things that I have canned. Now, I'm not a doctor, <clears throat> so I can't tell you uh, what this will do for you in uh, terms of health. But you can Google uh, that and you can find lots of information on how beneficial this uh, mixture that I'm going to show you is for your health. Now it's, actually, it's very easy to make. You probably have the ingredients in your kitchen right now. And it tastes very good too. doesn't taste bad as you might think it would. So now if you're new to my videos, I'm inviting you to subscribe. And there's a little red box down in the bottom right hand corner. <clears throat> down, in, down the corner of this video. And if you click on it, then it will subscribe you. Now subscribing is free and it helps me to keep on making these videos. So please go ahead and subscribe. And you know comments are important too. I appreciate your comments. And from the standpoint of uh, the YouTube uh, channel, uh, they like to see comments because they know that that means it's a video that is of interest to the people. So let's get on with this video. Roots will come out right there. So let's get it in. Now one of the biggest problems here is peeling the garlic. And so you see me putting it into uh, one of those uh, gallon food storage bags, just a plastic bag. And I'm going to pound it with a meat tenderizing hammer, but I'm only going to use the side part of it. And you'll see that it uh, contains, or the bag holds, all of the, anything that might be splattering from the uh, garlic as I hammer it. And then also it's going to contain the uh, peelings. And that's going to make it a lot easier to uh, get it to the stage we want it. The reason I'm crushing this garlic is so that it will absorb the honey or infuse uh, much quicker. If you put a whole clove of garlic in this jar of honey, it will be probably months before it will be ready for you to eat. And by crushing it and going ahead and cutting it in smaller pieces, uh, as you're going to see me doing, it will infuse uh, with honey much quicker. In about 20 days, it'll be ready to eat.
Now I recommend you use organic honey if you can get it. But if you can't get organic, be sure to use only pure raw honey. If you're using this kind of lid, then at least one time a day, you need to open it a little bit like that to let the pressure out, and then you can tighten it back down, okay? And that's called burping it. And you got to burp it if you're going to use this kind of lid, but I'm going to show you a different kind of lid. All right, this is a lid here, and uh, this one will burp itself on these waterless fermentation lids. I didn't, I didn't design it, and I didn't choose the color. But here's another color, so I don't say nothing, okay? So what you see is this part right here. I'll get it where I can see it. it has a little slit in it. And that allows the pressure in the jar, whether you're making kraut or whether you're making honey garlic, as I'm doing here, it allows the pressure to come out there and then it reseals itself. Now, I will put a link to this where you can buy it uh, down in the description box. Now, once you mix this up, put this everything in the jar, <coughs> about once a day, maybe twice a day, you need to come in and shake it. Shake it up good. What that does is it helps get the garlic all around in the honey. Now, you notice that it moves and shakes pretty good now. And when I was first, when I first put it in the jar, and I was trying to stir it with that chopstick, it was very stiff. So what's happening is the uh, the honey is, I mean, the, the honey is pulling the juice or the liquid out of the garlic and mixing it with the honey, making it thin. So that's what you get. And as long as it's infusing, <clears throat> which takes about 20 days, you can keep it sitting on the kitchen counter. After 20 days, when it's getting ready to, to use, you change out your lid, put you on a different lid. Remember I talked about that plastic lid? And put it in the refrigerator. Then every day, you take some. I'm going to show you that in a minute. All right, so here's our garlic and honey <coughs> mixture. Basically, it's honey infused garlic is what it is. So here's how we're going to dose it. Just regular old eating spoon, and you'll get a couple pieces like that. Probably not dropping on the floor. And then you just go in and chew it up.
It's pretty good. Um, a little bit sweet. Doesn't have the hotness that uh, garlic has. The honey mellows the garlic. Now, in addition to eating the garlic, the the honey liquid is is also good for you. So you can get you some of that like that. Good stuff. <laughs> it's really good stuff. I'll I'll spend some other time talking about the health benefits of this. Uh, all right, here we go. I wish I could share this with you. I wish I could give you some. Let you take it for, I think, two days, and you'll notice the difference. Just two days. Take some before you go to bed, too. Make you sleep super good. <laughs>